So I'm loving pistons and it's giving me so much extra detail. So let me show you how to work it. Now this is a small little kit bash set that I've been creating. Um, everything is kind of like parented to bones that needs to be. There you are, there's that bone. And then for instance, this one here, they've all got their own individual bones. And I'm gonna show you how I process to bring this all together. But if you wanna download this set, it'll be available on the Patreon and probably there'll be a link in for Gumroad as well. So just for now, let's pick two, a top and a bottom, control I, and then I'm just gonna hide the rest. And also I kind of created a plate here, just, you know, just something that we can add to. So let's go ahead and first grab our bottom piston, which can be this one. And then we're gonna grab our top piston. Now we want these two to be lined up. So I'm just gonna get the value of this one, which is Y axis. Yep, Y, let's just make it five. And then this one here we'll grab and make that a value of six. And let's just go side on and we'll just position it in a bit of a nice spot. Probably about there. Let's just do Alt R to reset the rotation. Grab both of these. There we go. So what we want to do is like at the start, we want these pistons sliding into each other. So if I just select um, this piece down here and I go into pose mode and rotate along the Y axis, we can see that it can open and close, which is exactly what we want. So let's aim at joining the armatures. Now already this bone here, now already this object here is assigned to this bone. So quite a bit of the work's already done, but we're just gonna be focusing on how to join this all together. Now, something that's really important, we can't have these bones pointed at each other because that's gonna cause a bit of problem. And you'll notice that if you do it that way, actually, let's do it that way, and then we'll go back and fix it. Hey subscribe so from here select this we're going to go into pose mode so we've got this bone and we need to point it to this bone um, what's the name of this bone first it'll be over here bottom wide deck for decoration because it's got that cut in it very clever i know right so pose mode select that one we're going to go into the bone constraints so not the armature constraints but the bone constraints and we go add damp uh, dampen track let's point to this armature and then to the specific bone into object mode let's select that one pose mode add bone constraint dampen track straight to this one and make sure we got the right bone selected so now technically when i press g and move it around it works fine so to kind of join this all together into one system we need to do our mesh first. So select our mesh on the pistons and then select our main mesh, control J to join. That's fine. Now we can select our bones and go control J with our main mesh selected last. And then if we go into pose mode and I think if we move the armature a little bit, it snaps back into place. Cool, so that's all working. Now because this is spinning, I want this bone here to be parented to this one. So over into the bone settings, and we actually have to go into edit mode for this one, into the bone settings, into the relations parent to the main swing, that's that one there, and pose mode. So now we have that, awesome. But you can kind of see that it's actually not working properly. There we go, there's a fine example of how that works they're not sliding into each other 100%. And so this is what I was talking about earlier. You can't have bones directly pointed at each other. But what we can do is go into edit mode, go into edit mode, and I'm going to select our uh, tip there. And let's just extrude that down. I wanna clear the parent. I don't want it to be parented to this one. I actually want it to be parented to our main swing. So let's go main swing. And this bone here, we can see over here is top wide 001. So now when we go into object mode, I'm gonna select, sorry, when we go into pose mode, I'm gonna select this bone into the bone constraints and we're gonna change it to this. So that'll be top wide one. And so now when we go into rotation, we no longer have that problem of these two going out of alignment. Okay, so that's how you kind of make these pistons quite simply. Okay, that's not rotating on the, rotating on the y-axis, but there we go. Okay, 